the end term of a geometric sequence. In your previous activity, you have identified whether the given terms are example of a geometric sequence or not. This time, we will study about how to find the end term of a geometric sequence. For example, given 3, 15, 75, 375, and so on. Is there a common ratio? Let us check. 15 divided by 3, we have 5. 75 divided by 15, 5. 375 divided by 75 is also 5. Therefore, there is a common ratio. The given sequence is a geometric sequence. Let us now find the eighth term of the given sequence. Remember that this is not an arithmetic sequence, so there is also another rule in finding the nth term of the given sequence. Our formula here is a of n is equals to a of 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So from the given, we have a of n is the nth term, a of 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r is the common ratio. Ang a of n natin ay unknown. Ang n, which is the number of terms, since we are looking for the 8th term, so the number of terms is 8. And the first term is 3. So the common ratio is equals to 5. Substitute. a of n is equals to 3 times 5. 5 is the common ratio raised to 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. So we have a of n equals 3 times 5 raised to 7. We cannot multiply 3 by 5 because 5 has an exponent of 7. Let us simplify first 5 raised to the 7th power. How will you get 5 raised to the 7th power? Sa calculator nyo, i-press nyo yung 5. Press x to the y power, then press 7, press equal, and you will get 78,125. So, we have a sub n is equals to 3 times 78,125. So, 3 times 78,125 is 234,375. Therefore, the 8th term of the given geometric sequence is 234,000 375. Another example. We have 486, negative 162, 54, negative 18, and so on. Find the ninth term of the sequence. A sub n, unknown. Ang a sub 1 natin ay 486. So, since we are looking for the ninth term of the sequence, ang n natin ay 9. So, what is the common ratio? So, divide the second term by the first term. We have negative 162 divided by 486 equals negative one-third. Divide the third term by the second term, 54 divided by negative 162, we have negative one-third. And divide the fourth term by the third term, negative 18 divided by 54 is equals to negative one-third. Therefore, the common ratio is negative one-third. So, formula. A of n is equals to A of 1 times R raised to n minus 1. So, 
we are looking for the 9th term. So, ace of 9 is equals to 486. Kasi ang ace of 1 natin ay 486. Times the common ratio, negative 1 third, raised to 9 minus 1. So, 9 minus 1 is 8. Kaya naging ace of 9 equals 486 times negative 1 third raised to 8 power. Hindi mo pwedeng i-multiply agad ang 486 sa negative 1 third. Kasi ang negative 1 third, naka-exponent siya ng 8. So, unahin natin yung numerator. Negative 1 raised to the 8 power is positive 1. And 3 raised to the 8 power, sabi ko nga kanina, press 3, press x to the y power, and press 8, then press equal, ang lalabas ay 6,561. So, we have ace of 9 is equals to 486 times 1 over 6,561. Simplify natin. Ace of 9 now is 486 over 6,561. So, kapag ang sagot ay fraction, Always reduce your answers to lowest term. So, your final answer now is 2 over 27. So, the ninth term of the given sequence is 2 over 27. Find ace of 1 of the geometric sequence whose ace of 5 is negative 96 and the common ratio is 2. So, in the given problem, ang nawawala ngayon ay ang first term. So, tingnan natin ha. We have here given ang ace of n binigay. The ace of n is negative 96. So, if ace of n is negative 96, and negative 96 is the fifth term. Therefore, the number of terms is 5. So, the common ratio is also given. The common ratio is 2. So, ace of 1 or the first term is unknown. Yun ngayon ang hahanapin natin. Formula. Yung paring formula kanina na ace of n equals ace of 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, ang a sub n natin, yung last term, negative 96, substitute, equals a sub 1 times 2. Bakit 2? Kasi ang ating common ratio ay 2. Raised to n, ang n natin ay 5. So, 5 minus 1. So, let us continue. Negative 96 is equals to a sub 1 times 2 raised to the 4th power. Simplify muna natin yung 2 to the 4th power. Kahit hindi mo na i-press yung calculator mo, alam natin na ang 2 to the 4th power ay apat na beses mong multiply ang 2. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. So, basic lang yan. So, we have negative 96 is equals to ace of 1 times 16. Now, divide both sides by 16. Yan. So, cancel yung 16 dito sa katabi ng ace of 1. So, ang natira ay negative 96 divided by 16. Therefore, ace of 1 is equals to negative 6. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Ang ibig sabihin yan, ang first term ng binigay na geometric sequence na may fifth term na negative 96 at may common ratio na 2, the first term is negative 6. Okay, find the first term of the geometric sequence if the fourth term is 16 and the seventh term is 128. So, mapapansin nyo, ang hinahanap natin ay first term uli. Kaya lang, hindi binigay ang common ratio. So, isulat muna natin ang mga given. Given, the fourth term is 16. The seventh term is 128. Galing dun sa formula natin na ace of n, 
equals a of 1 times r raised to n minus 1, pwede natin i-substitute muna doon sa a of 4. So, a of 4 is equals to a of 1 times r raised to 4 minus 1. Kasi n minus 1, fourth term siya. So, ang a of 4 natin ay 16. We have 16 is equals to a of 1 times r raised to the third power kasi 4 minus 1 is 3. Doon naman tayo sa 7th term. a sub 7 is equals to 128. Gamit yung formula ng geometric sequence, pwede nating i-substitute na a sub 7 is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to 7 minus 1. Ang a sub 7 natin ay 128 is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to the 6th power kasi n minus 1 or 7 minus 1 is equals to 6. So, ang una natin gagawin, hahanapin muna natin yung common ratio para makuha natin ang first term. Solution. To find the common ratio, i-divide natin yung a of 7 sa a of 4. So, 128 is equals to a of 1 times r to the 6 divided by 16 is equals to a of 1 times r to the 3rd power. I-divide lang natin. So, pag dinivide natin, makakancel yung a of 1. Ang matitira na lang ay r to the 6 divided by r cube. So, r to the 6 divided by r cube is, ayan. So, we have r cube and 128 divided by 16 is 8. Now, raise both sides to 1 over 3. So, naging exponential siya, kaya naging... The cube root of 8 is equals to r. And what is the cube root of 8? The cube root of 8 is 2. Nakuha na natin yung common ratio. The common ratio is 2. So, madali na siya ngayon malaman kung ano yung first term niya kasi meron na tayong common ratio. Pwede kang pumili sa dalawang equation na ito kung fourth term ang kunin mo o a of 7. Dito tayo sa fourth term mag-substitute. So, 16 is equals to a of 1 times 2. Yung 2 yun yung common ratio na nakuha natin. Raised to the third power. So, 16 is equals to a of 1. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. So, 2 to the third power is 8. Divide both sides by 8. Cancel yung dalawang 8. Ano natira? 16 divided by 8 is equals to a of 1. What is 16 divided by 8? We have 2. Therefore, a of 1 is equals to 2. So, ang ibig sabihin, the first term is 2. Thanks for watching. This is your teacher, Nati, saying, Let us thank God for all the blessings that He has given you. So, don't forget to click like and subscribe.